Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Dawn of Majesty Yu-Gi-Oh! booster box opening. Sneak preview is this weekend again for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! set being Dawn of Majesty. There's a lot of awesome new cards in this set. The ones I'm most excited for are the Stardust Dragon cards. We have a mix of Stardust Dragon and Shooting Star Dragon in this newest booster set, along with a bunch of other support, including cards for Chronomalies. I believe the new Magic Keys and Despias are also in this set. So it's a really, really cool set. I'm definitely looking forward to a lot of the new cards in the set all together but can't wait to see what we pull so let's go ahead and get started with the actual opening i'm definitely going to be getting a lot of this set because one of the starlight rares being stardust dragon is definitely good enough of a reason to try and pull one of these starlight rares i don't know if all of them have been revealed yet i know that stardust dragon though is one i think it's one of the few cards that is available in every rarity including the newest starlight rare so i definitely do love the art of these packs look these packs are they slanted a little or it might just be the fact that i don't think so it's covering the whole uh pack art but let's go ahead and see how we do with these packs so starting off we have a springins interluder so still continuing with the springins support in this set slower swallow for our next common ddd different dimension derby Tailwind of Gusto. Yeah, Gusto's as well. Another uh, deck I'm happy to support with the new cards they received in this booster set. And our first holo is Night Ends Administration. There's so much shiny foiling on this card. You can barely see the monster in the background, but still pretty awesome. We have Doom Bearers, Psycho Pompos, uh, Clave Keys, the Magic Key Sky Blaster, Cosmic Slicer, Zerol, and Shinobi Insect, Hagakure Mino. I know the new Beat Troopers in this deck, uh, deck set are something I'm pretty interested in seeing how they play, being the TCG exclusive deck. But I know Shinobi Insect is an import from the OCG, I believe. So just additional support. That'll probably help with the fact that the deck is an insect deck. So we've already seen the Derby card, Dimmer Synthesis. Looks like a, um, what is it? A Catalyst uh, Chemic Critters support. There's Converging Wills Dragon for Stardust Dragon, uh, Pazuzel for our next Pendulum support, and it looks like our secret rare is Sacred Scrolls of the Gizmic Legend. So this is, you get two secrets, I believe, per uh, set, and starting off early with one of them being for the Gizmic cards. Awesome, it's their field spell. There's a bunch of new Gizmic cards in this set, as well so this new support i think there's two ultras and this is the secret so a good pull especially for those that are interested in the actual gizmic cards majestic absorption and i'm uh, you know excited for the sue ship cards they play on sushi and ships i know there's only a few in this set but i'm definitely excited to see just the play style and pick up the cards for the actual support so on to pack number three usually with these boxes you can see the support divided all the way through the box as well, depending on where the secret rares and ultra rares are. So maybe the second pack on the right side will be a secret. We'll find out when we get to that side. We have a Magic Key Mech Mortar for our next super. And it looks like they gave Triamids a new card as well. Margin Trading, uh, Mystical Beast of the Forest, and another of the Sioux Ship uh, Xyz Monsters. I don't think there's anything high rarity for the Sioux Ships in this set either. I don't remember if any of the Spell or Traps are super but i believe they're all pretty common we have a wolf Ferengus, the darkest dragon doom rider for our next super and there's the new level two normal monster to go with the ready fusion that's in this set i believe ready fusion might be the most expensive secret in the set either that or the new spell card for synchro summoning that goes really really well with the stardust dragon deck in this set i can't remember <laughs> there's a jar of generosity i was so telling so many of my friends i thought this was going to be a troll secret rare in the set but at least it's only a common and we have stardust illumination there's so many high rarity stardust cards in this set but definitely worth it and this is another awesome one look at that full art of stardust dragon you can see almost all of it some of its wings cut out in the art there there's gunkin Suship ikura yeah i think there's two uh monsters for the main deck for Suships ships in this uh set but i'm definitely excited to see what they're just I'm about to say was this flipped the wrong way hopefully that means maybe there's a starlight rare because someone packaged this one individual pack with the intentions of knowing what was in it and i probably just damaged it completely with that there's konohana saki i remember that from persona being yukiko's 
uh, Persona name. Uh, we have Beat Trooper, Scale Bomber for our next super. Gusto Vidir, uh, another one of the Gusto support, awesome. And Baby Mud Dragons. I find it so funny that they give us more and more cards for that sub archetype as well. But next pack. Should still be hopefully one more Ultra on this side also. And we have a Gizmic Arakami, the Hailbringer Hog, for our next Hollow. Super rare Gizmic there. But the Gizmics were always all, you know, so split up on what the specific uh, rarities. We've had a Secret Rare in one set. I think Orochi being the first Gizmic was Secret Rare. One being Super, one Ultra, all over the place. But still pretty awesome. We have Dino Wrestler, Iguando Draca, or Draca, for our next support. I completely forgot that Dino Wrestlers get a card in this set, along with Trick Stars and Goki. So that just means updates for all of them. I'm also excited for the Chronomaly support. Gustos, Chronomaly, and Stardust are the three I'm most excited for in this set. And we got one Stardust Ultra so far. Here's hoping my second secret I pull is another Stardust. We have Albion, the Shrouded Dragon. This for Albaz, I believe. Yeah, I see its name in the description there. Stardust Trail. Uh, that and the Majestic Star Dragon are comms. I think they're the only two common cards for the Stardust deck. I think there's four secrets in the whole set though for Stardust Dragon, which is pretty insane, but uh, people like their Stardust Dragon cards. There's the Gunkin Su Ship Normal Monster. You can see the huge wall of text for that Normal Monster as well. And Pendulum Treasure. Add one Pendulum Monster from your deck to your extra deck. So it's not bad. It basically gives you something to use to Pendulum Summon out. I could see that being quite usable just for setup in a deck. So we've got two packs left on the left side. Let's see how we do. And we have up oh, another ultra rare. It looks like it's a beat trooper. I always I thought they were bees at first, but it's playing on the word beetle, not bee. So beat trooper, combining the two words there. Giant beat trooper, invincible atlas for our next ultra. It's a link four too. That's pretty insane. Needing all insect monsters. It definitely plays on the fact that that deck will probably be a pure uh, insect deck to work with. But we got some pretty good generic insect support. So last pack on the left side. Let's see. There's that Chronomaly, a Kambaro figures again. I think the one's a super rare. I'm going to pull it from this pack. Nope, we have a Magic Key Dragon, Andra Beam, I believe is how you pronounce that. The Magic Keys have a bunch of different extra deck monsters. There's the new Goki card in this set. So definitely interested if this will be relevant at all. Being a tuner, I would say especially. All right, on to the right side. So with the right side, we should have one more secret and two ultras to pull. Let's see. If I can, if it's if the order is the same or not. So we have a Tendangle Jarelth. I'm surprised they made this a super. It must be really, really good for the. You take one flip monster from your deck, except Jarelth, and you add. So yeah, it's set up for the Tendangle deck. So definitely worthy of being a Tendangle card. Definitely been excited for opening these packs. But oh wait, wait, that might be the secret. So let's save that for a little longer down the line. I don't want to have all the surprises taken out right then and there, but we'll see. This pack, there's a uh, Ship Shari again, and we have a branded opening. This is, is this another? No, it's a Despia card. Interesting for that super. And we have Doom Bearer, Cycle Pompous again, and anything else from that pack? So we missed the secret there. I think this might be an Ultra. Let's see. Uh, if not, I'll count down the way. So this should be the fourth card on that side. Nope, it's Gizmic and Naba, the Hoping Hair Rabbit of Hakuto. So that's definitely a title of a name there. And anything else from that pack? Let me see. Going down, I didn't mix up any of the foils. So yeah, the next one, if the order is the same, should be an Ultra Rare. Let's see if that's true or not. Mixing up a bunch of cards. I think I saw the fusion monster again. Or nope, looks like that might be the super. No, oh, maybe the order is mixed up here. Magic Key Beast on Ciala Bolas for our next super. Once again, a lot of that foil shine, almost like the ghost rarity texture for those cards, mixed in with all these different ones in this set. So unless I'm mistaken, maybe there is no distinct order. It, it might just be for some boxes, but I know that people have been able just to find ultras and secrets on the other side, knowing they're the same 
as the one side they open packs on already. We have an Amazement Assistant Delia for our Delia for our next super for the Amazement deck. We definitely pulled an Ultra by this point. So maybe this pack here isn't even the secret. You know what? Let's open it. Let's see if I'm wrong. If I'm completely wrong, maybe the secrets are just on the same side. But the fact that I haven't seen it yet, let's see. Is this going to be the secret? Is it going to be a Stardust-related secret? Suship Shari, uh, Ankambaro figures, and <laughs> it's an Ultra. So I mixed up that order. I guess the same order on each side doesn't apply for all the boxes. But we have a Chronomaly Vimana. So awesome, awesome. I was hoping to get some Chronomaly support. And I didn't pull a Super yet. I know there's one more Super in this set. But this is definitely one I'll take because I want to collect a good amount of the Ultras. I also have to get a few more Machu Mechs for the deck. I think I only have one currently, but we have six packs remaining and hopefully still an ultra and a secret to pull. And as I say that, when I open this pack, it's going to be the secret. But let me see. Stardust secret? Stardust related secret is what I want to say. And we have a Beat Trooper Armor Horn for our next super. And anything else from that one? One of these Sioux Ship Ixies Monsters. All right. Next pack. Let's see. I'm always looking out for that Stardust or Starlight Rare foiling. And we have a Beat Trooper Sting Lancer. This is actually our fourth Ultra Rare. So with that, I think we're all finished with the Ultra Rares in the set. Any other cards? The Chronomaly and the Stardust Trail common. That just saves hopefully one more secret to pull. So let's see how my luck will fare with this. There's Jar of Generosity that I'm going to mean either a bad or a good omen coming up. We have Converging Will's Dragon, and we have, oh, nope, good, good. It's Chronomaly Magella Globe, the one super I needed for the deck. Nice. There's another Ikura for the Sioux ships. And what, am I losing count here? Nope, we've got three packs remaining. So let's see how I finish this up. I'm getting nervous though the more we go through and we have a majestic mirage so another stardust really yeah there's so many in this pack that are foil i don't even know did utopia have these many foil cards for uh that deck i think they didn't have any secret rares i think the highest rarity for the utopia deck was an ultra rare so two packs remaining let's see how we do and we have, oh, nice, it's a Seeker Rare, but sadly not a Stardust one. It is B Trooper Scout Buggy, I think. I don't know if, like, I have to relook at all the value in the packs, but this is definitely an awesome looking one. You can special summon except for insect monsters. If this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one B Trooper Scout Buggy from your hand decker. Oh, so, so it basically sets up more on the field, but it restricts you to insect monsters, so I don't know if it's the next tour guide or not with that restriction altogether. But also, I do like that the secrets weren't at the same spots or the ultras for the whole uh, box. But on to the final pack. Let's see what my luck has said. I think it's just going to be a super, though. But a row Pixie 3. I think I pulled a lot of those in this set also. Is this the Sioux ship card? I see the sushi ship, so obviously, yeah. There, Magic Key Unlocking. And our last foil is Digusto Lamplam Pilica. So at least I pulled the Gusto card. It looks so adorable. I believe that's Pilica, obviously. And the Ritual Beast Penguin, I think, maybe? Because I've always seen those cards together on other card artworks. So awesome there. There's another one of the Level 2 Fusion Tuners. And we all, I, I always feel like we finish with this last on the Sioux Ship cards. But that is it for the opening. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I'm definitely going to be picking up some more from this set but i think we did pretty good no stardust cards aside from the one ultra but better than nothing there and i definitely will be opening more of this set so look forward to it and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out